In the space below, draw a diagram to represent a sound wave. On your diagram, mark a label. 1. Three compressions with letter C and three rarefactions with letter R. Number 2. The wavelength of the wave with letter lambda. This is not the first time to draw a longitudinal wave. Longitudinal waves are usually expressed as parallel straight lines. These lines are close to each other in some regions. These are the compressions. In other regions, they are far apart, and these are the rarefactions. In this diagram, these are the three compressions, and these are the three rarefactions. Actually, the mock scheme accepts other ways in drawing the longitudinal waves. One of them is a wave in a helical spring, like this one. Here are three compressions, where turnings of the coil are closer to each other, and these are the rarefactions, where turnings of the coil are far apart from each other. In question 2, he asks for the wavelength. The wavelength in the longitudinal wave is the distance between the centers of two successive compressions or two successive rarefactions. This is the center of one compression and this is the center of the next one. This is the wavelength of the wave. Also, you can make it using rarefactions. This is the center of one rarefaction and this is the center of the next rarefaction. And this is the wavelength and it's the same. The mark scheme gives three marks for both questions. Two marks for drawing the wave and one mark for marking the wavelength. Number one, the first mark is for drawing the diagram showing compressions and rarefactions. You can use spaced vertical lines or dots or coil or sine wave. All these will be accepted. This is for one mark. The second mark is for showing three compressions and rarefactions in approximately correct places. Double I. The one mark is given for showing the wavelength correctly by I.